Hello and welcome. If you are new to the game of golf and you're struggling with hitting those iron shots consistently more often than what you do now, then I tell you that there's three things you need to do in the, in the period of the swing after you hit the ball, which we call the follow through. And if you don't do these three things, you will never ever be truly consistent. So why don't we go ahead and, and figure out what these three things are and I also teach you how to fix them. Welcome to the Golf for Beginners podcast, your essential guide to mastering golf fundamentals. Whether you're a beginner golfer or a seasoned player looking to refine the basics, join us as we teach you everything about the fundamentals of swing technique, course management, equipment, rules, and how to practice. Today's host is none other than the award-winning PGA golf instructor Nikolai Seti Engström, CEO of the biggest golf teaching business in Denmark and founder of Golf for Beginners Academy. Hello and welcome. My name is Nikolai Seti Engström and I'm going to be your host and your golf instructor today. And we're going to talk about the follow-through. And the follow-through is the period of the golf swing that happens after you hit the golf ball. Okay. So you might already now be thinking, why is this period of the swing at all important? Because you should already have hit the ball. And that is a very, very valid question. So the thing is, if, you're, if your position, positions in your golf swings after you hit the golf ball are not correct, then the chances are that your impact position, which means uh, the moment where you actually hit the golf ball, were not correct either. And a way to fix the impact position is usually to make sure that the positions after the impact are solid and good. Because it, it's very, very difficult to, to fix anything in, in the moment where you hit the golf ball, golf ball. Because so many stuff is happening, the whole body is moving, your mind is focused on hitting the golf ball. So, so actually changing your body positions in, at the exact impact moment is super tricky. Usually we need to, to figure out other points during the swing that we can fix that will then fix the impact position. And exactly for that reason, it is extremely important that the follow through is, is done in the right way. Because otherwise, it's most likely that your impact position will not great uh, if, if your follow through won't great either. So I think it's just time for us to dive into it. And today we're going to be looking at three different uh, fixes that you really need to make sure. Uh, that, that you work on in, in your golf swing, uh, especially if you're new to this game, because I pr promise you this will make the game a lot easier. And first of all, uh, let's just define the exact position that I want you to be focusing on. So after you hit the golf ball, when your golf, golf club is uh, parallel to the ground in the follow through part of the golf swing, that is the position I want you to be focusing on. Okay, and at that time, when your golf shaft is parallel to the ground, we need to, to make sure that the following three things are happening. And the, the number one thing will be that your right foot, if you are a right-handed right -handed player, uh, your left foot if you're a left-handed player, but let's, let's talk about it from a right-handed perspective. So in this position, we would like to see that your right, right heel has left the ground. Okay. Your right toe should, should still be touching the ground, but there shouldn't really be any weight left on, the, on your right foot. All your weight should have moved towards the left side of your body, towards your left leg, your left foot. And in this position, when your shaft is parallel to the ground after you hit the golf ball, 90 to 95% of the weight should be on your left leg and left foot. And I promise you that most beginners... For most beginners, this will not be the case. The case will be that they will have uh, a significant high amount uh, of the weight on the right foot. And maybe they will actually have managed to transfer a little bit of weight to the left foot uh, during the downswing. But we don't really see a lot of beginners actually managing to get up to, to the around 90% of the weight uh, being on that left foot at that time of the golf swing. So that will be the absolutely first thing to, to make sure happens. Uh, because this is a very big part of controlling where the golf club hits the ground, uh, so controlling the low, pound, uh, low point, and it is also a way to make sure that you or higher higher the chances of uh, that your golf club is swinging down towards the ground when you're hitting the golf ball, which means that you're hitting the ball first and then the ground after, and this ball first ground after contact is super 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 difficult to achieve if your weight has not moved 
enough to your left side. So, fix number one. Get enough weight over on your left side in the downswing and the follow through. And we're looking for 90% of your, of your weight on the left foot when your shaft is parallel to the ground after the golf ball. That was the first thing. Now, let's move on to uh, thing number two. And thing number two is it's very important. Um, also, because if, if things, uh, thing number two doesn't happen, then thing number three won't be able to happen either. Um, so, thing number two is that in this position, as we just talked about, so shaft parallel to the ground after you hit the golf ball. Now, your right heel has, has, left, uh, has left the ground. Your, all of your weight is on the left, uh, left leg and left foot. In this position, and it's very important that you get that this is when the shaft is parallel to the ground after you hit the golf ball. Then we want your hips and your upper body, so your chest, we want them to be, be kind of pointing out towards the target. Okay? So when you swing through the golf ball, you, sh you check your shaft is parallel. Then we want to make sure that your hips and upper body are also pointing or are pointing out towards the target. And now you might be thinking, oh, it's very difficult to, to actually see if this is happening because my swing is longer than to when the shaft is parallel to the ground. And, and here's the thing. I think it's a very, very good idea for most beginners actually to don't do a complete full follow through where you swing the club all the way up behind your neck or something like that, as you would see some players do. I think it's very beneficial for most beginners to actually stop your follow through in this position where the, where the shaft is parallel to the ground, the right, the right heel is off the ground, and your chest and your uh, hips are pointing towards the target. Just stop at that position. You don't have to swing a lot longer than that. And um, if you have to swing a lot longer, it's usually because you haven't really synced the other parts of the body. So just stop in that position, shaft parallel to the ground, and then you do your checkpoint. You check your right foot, you check your hips, and you check your upper body if they are pointing towards the target. So in order for these uh, different body parts to point towards the target, you will need to to rotate the body quite a lot in the downswing and in the follow through. Okay, um, and just a little reminder. In order to rotate your hips and your upper body fast enough in the downswing and follow through, it's a good idea to have your left foot open out uh, quite a lot in the setup. Which, so kind of turn your toes out a bit. That will allow more rotation of the hips and upper body because if the left foot is pointing straight out, then you're probably going to hurt your ankle or your knee when you try to rotate fast enough in the downswing and follow through. So that was, uh, that was fix number two. Hips and upper body pointing towards the target when the, when the uh, shaft is parallel to the ground. Third thing, and this is very much related to actually the first two things, because if you didn't do the, the first two things correct, then it's going to be super tricky for this one. But here it is. And, and please <laughs> write this down. Never, ever forget it again. Because this is probably the biggest difference between uh, amateur golfers and professional golfers. It is that, again, when the shaft is parallel to the ground after you hit the golf ball, we need both arms to be straight. Okay, And now you're thinking, wow, that's... I'm not really doing that, and, and a lot of beginners, they aren't. Because if you want your arms to be straight, when your shaft is pointing out towards the target, your body will need to rotate super fast, and you will need to transfer your weight forward. Otherwise, you cannot keep your arms straight. Because if your body is not rotating, and your, your club just hit the ball, and it's going to keep on flying past the ball, and your body is not rotating, your left arm will have to bend. Okay, Otherwise, you're going to hurt your shoulder. So in order to get to the straight arm position, you will need the rotation of the body, as I said earlier, and you will also need the weight transfer. Otherwise, you're not really going to hit the ball super great. So if you, can, if you can manage to get into this position where your shaft is parallel to the ground, your right heel is off the ground, hips and upper body turn towards the target, and arms are straight, I promise you, uh, you will hit the golf ball a lot better. And, you know, you don't have to do a full backswing and, and give it full power uh, when you're working on this position. Uh, it's better just to do a half backswing. And then you can do this, this uh, shorter follow through where you can actually stop in the right position and check if your arms are straight and all this stuff instead of going full whack all the time. Just slow it down, super small swings. And then hold that position for a few seconds when the club is parallel to the ground, ground after you hit the ball. Just hold it. And then you can actually see, okay, how is my arm doing? How is my body? How is my hips and all this stuff? Did I manage to move my weight enough forward? And that would be a great way to, to work on these things. That was actually what I wanted to talk about today. The, the three fixes and the follow through. Uh, they might sound 
simple or they might sound not, not important, but I promise you that this will could actually be the, the thing that, that makes your golf game so much easier. And if you apply this in the in the full swing, there's a good chance that your chipping and your pitching is probably also going to benefit from it. So so give it a go the next time you're on a driving range. And, you know, send me an email if you have any questions uh, or if you have any stories about how it went. I would love to hear that. And otherwise, just want to say thank you so much for tuning in today. And I hope to talk to you again soon. Thank you for tuning in to another insightful episode of the Golf for Beginners podcast. We hope you found valuable tips and inspiration to enhance your golf journey. Remember, whether you're a novice or a seasoned player, there's always room for improvement. For more in-depth resources, tutorials, and a supportive community, head over to our website at golfforbeginners.academy. There, you'll find a wealth of information to elevate your game. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a review, and share this podcast with your fellow golf enthusiasts. Until next time, keep practicing, keep learning, and enjoy this lovely game.